So my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about what, in my opinion, is going to be the absolute best free-to-play teams if you are free-to-play in Tower Fantasy, which I know a good number of you guys are. If you guys are free-to-play, this might be some suggestions to uh, go ahead and look into. Now, full disclosure before I get into it, I have literally zero fire units. I have zero experience with the fire units. I don't know how good fire is or how good fire will be. I don't know. I literally <laughs> haven't been able to pull them. Uh, just luck of the draw. So, yeah, I'm not going to be including fire in this list due to lack of experience, due to lack of knowledge. I don't know enough. But I will be talking about all the other elements and what I think is the absolute best free-to-play team versus probably the worst. Anyways, if you like this kind of content, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Let's go ahead. Let's get into it. So very first off, what I believe is going to be the best free-to-play team in the game is ice frost whatever you want to call it all these all the ice units really function incredibly well at a zero if we go ahead and we just assume lynn is on every team which lynn probably will be on every single team we have then two slots so we're going to have saki fuwa and frig essentially frig is incredibly good at just straight up a zero a1 adds a little bit of value as far as this goes um, A1 is pretty strong for just dealing a little bit more damage, specifically in an ice team. However, it's absolutely not necessary to be able to use Frig for what she does, which is dashing around like crazy inside the Frost Domain with Balmung Dash. Um, it, you don't need any advancements at all for it. And then whenever we look over at Sakifuwa, you can see Sakifuwa essentially only really wants her A1. Outside of that, everything's just more damage. Meaning you're probably going to be getting the absolute most bang for your buck by just playing ice. Ice requires little to no investment. Every unit's very, very strong at A0. And that's exactly why I'm going to be building ice as my secondary team without a lot of investment because it's a really strong free-to-play team. You really don't need a whole lot going on to it. You get Sakifuwa at A1 or A0 and then you get Lin and then you get Frig. And both Lin and Frig could be A0 as well. Lin also, you want A1 for the basic attacks to turn into AoEs, but it's really not that big of a deal in comparison to her A1. If you're running primarily Ice, her A1 is incredibly valuable. So yeah, I think Frost absolutely is the most free-to-play team possible, the best free-to-play team. And then we get into Volt. Now luckily with Global, I can show pretty much what a free-to-play Volt would look like right now, as say with an A6 Samir, no, but honestly. Volt is probably going to be the be the second best free-to-play team. Keep in mind, I don't know if Fire could fit the bill as second best. I don't know enough about Fire. I don't have the units. Haven't play tested them. But Samir specifically, one of the big advancements on Samir is in fact her A1 as well as Nemesis. Another big advancement on Nemesis is her A1. And Samir, Nemesis, and Lin is actually going to be a long-term team for Volt until Tian Lang. And Tian Lang isn't too free to play friendly from what i've been told um he needs a good bit of investment but initially this is a really good free to play team quote unquote free to play because nemesis functions really well with her a1 her a1 enables her to become a fantastic healer and then samir's a1 enables her to absolutely pop off as a dps so it's a very low investment team not as low investment as ice but a pretty low investment team nonetheless and then we have physical physical is probably going to be the least or the worst team for a free to play because physical is very, very whale heavy. Uh, physical is going to end up being on the global side because we are probably not going to get Mark. I'm not hundred percent on whether or not we get the collabs or not, but I'm going to assume we're not. So physical, we're probably not going to get Mark, meaning we have Claudia, Lyra, and, uh, Lynn is going to be your physical team, right? So with Lynn or with uh, Lyra or Claudia, excuse me, with Claudia specifically, you really want A1. And if you want Claudia to actually deal a lot of damage, you want to go all the way down to A3. A3 becomes very, very powerful because you're able to apply one stack of war wounds. And if you get all the way to A6, you get two stacks of war wounds, which ends up being uh, increased uh, physical damage and shatter from physical weapons by 20 percent because it will stack up to two times i believe gain another one stack of war wounds yeah 
you can stack up to two times at a six so it ends up becoming very very investment heavy to be able to get lots and lots of damage going and that's not to mention lyra herself one of the most broken units in the game with lyra all of her advancements do something incredibly significant almost all of these are really really good advancements she is very 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 whale heavy physical is basically a team for people who plan on swiping now if you're free to play and you really want lyra and you want to run a physical team you can probably get away with it just fine you'll probably be fine running a physical team but you're just not going to be anywhere near as good as the a6s i'm just trying to help people you know if you're going to invest very little if you're not if you're going to be free to play and not be able to go full a6 on a character i'm trying to help the people decide where to spend their dark crystals essentially uh but ice is definitely definitely the least advancement heavy meanwhile physical really wants a ton of investments to really function anyways that's basically the video let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you guys agree or disagree with me that Ice is the best free-to-play team in the game? Let me know what you guys think. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.